All right, so now let's see how we can add the file new game menu item so that when we click on it, we can start a new game. So click the close app button and then go back to Visual Studio. So the way to do that is we need to add a menu item to the to our menu. And that menu resides inside a resource file. It's called, as you can see here, tic-tac-toe.rc. RC stands for resource compiler file. This file contains all the resources of your app, including the menu, the dialogues, the icons, etc. So to open the resource view window, we double click on this file. Now we can see we have this is our dialog, this is our menu, etc. Let's assume that this resource view window is not open. Another way to, to open it is to go to the view menu and then click on other windows and then hit on resource view. The location might be different depending on the Visual Studio version you have. This is Visual Studio 2015 Community Edition, but this is where it is. So now I can see it again. So let's click on our main menu. As you can see here, it has file exit. So let's add our new game dot dot dot. So now we've added our new game menu item. Usually here, if you want the user to use the Alt key, there's a way you can say like you know pick a uh, one of the letters here and just put an person sign so that way you can hit now alt n to hit you know new new game so i want to move this up here did i click uh at the uh, check mark next to it let's remove that okay so now what I want to do is actually add a separator between the new game and exit. So the way to do that is right click and say insert separator. And, and it gets inserted at the end. So just drag it in between the two. Okay, so, so now we have new game under our file menu. So click on it again to see how we handle this in the code. So here we have to give it a name, ID file a new game. And I think this is how it should be. Just call it this way, ID file new game. Or you can just say ID new game, whatever is more convenient for you. Hit enter on this. And now let's close this window here by hitting file close. Yes, we wanna save. So now let's go back to the code. So whenever you click on a menu item, first of all, let's try to run this. Control F5, run. Okay, so now we see file new. You can see we, it doesn't actually, it doesn't do anything, right? We haven't added the code yet. So how do we add the code? So basically, whenever you click on an item here, your main window procedure will get notified with a message called WM command. And part of that message you will get that ID as one of the parameters for that for that message. So let's go back to our window procedure or window proc for short and look for WM command. It should be already here by default because we handle the about box and the exit. It's already here. So C under switch under WM command there's a switch WM ID which is the the W param. The low word of W param is the ID of the menu item. So we just say case ID file new game. And then let's add break. Okay, and now what do we want to do here? We want to ask the user if they really want to uh, start a new game. Because if they're the, in the middle of a game, you don't want to interrupt their play. So you would want to confirm with them. So let's use message box again, and this time we say, uh, let's ask the user, are you sure you want to start a new game? So now, new game is the caption of the message box. And here's where this thing becomes handy. You can say, instead of an OK button, you can say, I want yes, no, or yes, no, cancel. Yes, no is sufficient. and we want to add to that just a question mark icon question so that it looks like an, it's a question box so now this is good enough now how do we know what the user clicks on whether it's yes or no 
Well, this handy function actually returns the result of the user action. So you would say integer red equals whatever they click on. So if ID yes is the return value, that means the user ha wants to create a new game. All right, so how do we do that? Well, simply we want to do the following. We want to reset the game, right? Reset and start a new game. So how do we do that? We just say player turn equals one again. We want to initialize the game board. Actually, just to be to remind you, we go all the way up to our global variables. We just need to set reset some of these back to their original value. So this should become one again. And then we have to clear the game board and set the winner to zero because we have no winner again. So go back to down to WM command. All right, so let's handle these two. So winner becomes zero again. We have no winner. And the game board we want to... So this initialization is not going to work here. Right? This is only when you define it. So we can either write a loop to initialize it or it's easier to do actually the following zero. There's a Windows API called zero memory. Just give it the game board object. Pointer to an object and its length in bytes. So size of game board. This sets it all to zero. All right, so that's, that's it from the perspective of the data that we maintain. However, we want to also remember like if the user clicked on the board we also want to like clear out all the drawings we do so how do we force uh, a, a clear clearing all the the board uh, cells well we have to force uh, what's called a wm paint so force a paint message so we say invalidate rect so windows api our window handle then which area of the window you want to redraw if you say null that means the whole window which is okay in our case and then if you say true here that means also erase the background by drawing with the background brush color which is good for us now this message here will will actually this will uh, post a wm paint to our window proc right but it's not going to actually force the wm pane to be handled it just puts it in the message queue it gets queued in our message queue so to force an immediate uh, handling and processing we say update window and this forces immediate handling of wm paint so so that's how we actually uh, repaint the window. Okay, so that should be it for creating a new game. Let's give it a try. Control F5 to compile and run. All right, so let's say we started a game. We're playing here, and now I decided, okay, I want to restart over. So I would say come to new game. You get this question mark. Are you sure you want to start a new game? Let's pretend we hit this by mistake so no so we can continue to play however now let's say if i say new game and i really click yes this time and now the game is actually gone to initial state so let's uh, test out also okay so there's a case where player one is a winner now we can't do anything what do we do okay we click file new yes okay so now we have a new game Cool, this is all working. So now next we wanna see how we can add the uh, showing the turns of players here and showing some, some uh, text as well for player one, player two. Let's do that next. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment or share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel or like us on Facebook. See you in the next video.